And also, to give us more insights on this, we're being joined by Ms. Aditi Fadnis, who's a senior journalist. She's joining us live in this broadcast. Now, Ms. Fadnis, what we've witnessed in the last three hours is, is in some ways absolutely shocking, where these two individuals were said to be in the visitor's gallery and they jumped inside the floor of the house, the lower house of the Indian legislature, that is the Lok Sabha. And this was a complete pandemonium. What, what's gone wrong? How could a security breach such as this happen? Well, I really cannot understand how it can happen because as journalists, we were not only put through a very rigorous uh, security check, meaning our background was checked, we are not uh, uh, the police comes and checks at your residence if you uh, if you have access if you have a parliament uh, a permanent Absolutely. parliament pass and, and so on and not only that our biometrics were also taken uh, so presumably that system is in place as well so I just cannot understand how such a thing could have happened uh, and to for visitor to jump from the visitors gallery is unthinkable I mean you are not allowed to sit to lean forward to look into the parliament house there is there is there is watch and watch stuff which which checks you mm -hmm. if you lean too far forward so i just can't understand how this could have happened um no but i would not like to speculate on who these people are what their motive was because that would be very very uh, irresponsible you know and also the fact that they were able to carry these canisters that release some kind of a yellow smoke you know anything could have been in those canisters uh, you're a senior journalist. Is it possible that someone with a canister like this could have walked in? Because I'm pretty sure every bag that is taken in is, of course, checked inside the premises of the parliament. Well, uh, you know, I'm not sure what the description of the canisters were. If they were so small that they were uh, they were capable of being hidden in your shoe, uh, well, then that's a different matter. But you cannot carry canisters and things like that into the visitor's gallery. It's impossible. You just can't do it. So how should how, how is the government now likely to react to this? Because this is you know a serious breach of security. This is unthinkable. It, the fact that it has happened, and the manner in which those visuals are being played out, you know this this shows that pretty much anything could have happened today because of the security breach that has taken place. How do you think the government would respond to this? Well, the last time it happened, the government responded to it by uh, not only rounding up the usual suspects, but uh, basically attacking access of journalists. Okay, Although reporters had no role to play whatsoever, uh, access to our access to many areas in Parliament House mm -hmm. was restricted after that. And uh, now I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, but at every stage, Parliament House has its own security. Right. It is not the Delhi, De the Delhi police only handles the outside perimeter of Parliament House. Inside Parliament House, there is a separate uh, system uh, in place. Uh, they are very strict uh, and they are very, uh, well, till today we thought they were also very rigorous. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Ms. Aditi Fadnes, for joining us and getting us those insights. This is a shocking incident that has taken place. And I'm pretty sure the government will, of course, now put in place the measures that are needed to ensure that this, of course, is something that does not repeat again ever. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.